Welcome back. You are watching the Target Maui Pro. This is the final stop on the Samsung Galaxy Women's Championship Tour. And we're about to see one of our title contenders hit the lineup for the first time in the first round. Ronnie Blakey joined by former Championship Tour surfer Rosie Hodge. And Rosie, this is where it starts to get very interesting. Obviously, every single woman on this tour wants to win this final stop. But they're going to they're gonna have to overcome Carissa Moore. She's in electric form at the moment and uh, definitely the favourite for a third world title. He has it where it counts in the final event of the year. She's up against the winner of the trials, Dax McGill, and also Silvana Lemma. Well, here we go. This is Carissa getting things started early. Drives off the bottom with plenty of speed. Strong first turn. Getting a little bit of fin above the lip on her second manoeuvre also. And bringing it through to the inside. A huge layback snap. Wow. And that is a scary... Scary preview for Courtney Conalogue of what she's going to have to overcome if she wants to get the world title from this girl. That she's looking so comfortable and confident. Let's just have another look at this ride. See the way she glides in, really negotiating that bump that was on the face in the beginning part of that wave. Snaps it out the lip and just watches the fins just free themselves on that ride. You can see the power, the speed. It's all just coming together for Chris. She's really ticking all of the boxes. For me, it looks like at different stages, she did buckle under the pressure of holding the ratings lead. But her first wave is going to be a huge score. It might be the biggest score of the day so far, as we see out the back now. Silvana Lima, she gets herself barreled on the outside section and sets up the tube once again on the inside. Still going through this one. That wave's going to shut down Silvana. She knows how to post a big score here. And on her very, very first wave in this event as a wild card, some years back, she got a 10-point ride. And here is the winner of this morning's trials, Dax McGill. Powerful 17-year-old from the North Shore of Oahu, putting everything on the line in that first turn, but just getting a little bit off centre on the second manoeuvre there. And the devastating uh, thing for Silvana is she can't re-qualify for next year's tour. So really, she's just chasing prize money. Here's a replay of that barrel ride. The first section was beautiful. The second one got away from her. I mean, just taking home that big paycheck for her as well as the confidence that comes with taking a win. You know, that would be huge um, for her confidence for 2016. Well, swinging on the inside and finding a nice wall to work with. The stylish Brazilian. She looks for a bit more cover on the inside. The lip just catches her out. And she takes a fall. So still, waiting on the numbers to drop. As the 17-year-old Dax McGill takes a ride on the inside, just has a look and kicks out. 21 and a half minutes remaining. I mentioned Silvana's 10-point ride on her very first wave as a wild card in this event back in 2005 for an amazing tube. It's great to have Honolulu Bay back on the schedule. It was a fixture for many years. Such a smart, savvy competitor, Carissa Moore. You know that she'd be aware that an 8.33 doesn't guarantee you a heat win. We saw that in the last heat, Sage Erickson logging the biggest number of the clash, but Malia Manuel getting the victory with a couple of decent rides. Here's Silvana, looking sharp, but just getting a little hung up in the lip. What are the challenges, Rosie, with that offshore wind at the moment? Because it looked a little sticky there for uh, Silvana off the top. Oh, well, there you go, keeping a calm, collective look on things, making sure that she's breathing through it, so to speak. She's pretty excited, obviously, and she looked really good out there on that first wave. She did. Yeah, and she's she went to town, and that was a small wave. So I'm just waiting to see. She's on one right now, actually. Uh, she, just, she rides this wave so well. Her timing's impeccable. It just seems like she grew up here. with the town. Yeah, I mean, what do you say? It's Chris Moore. It's like, it's an honor to be caddying for her, first of all. And it's like, I don't, I don't know, it's kind of funny at the same time. It's like, uh, surf better than me. That's basically a lot better than me. <laughs> well, there you have it. Micah out here, stoked to be here, and Carissa just ripped the top off the last one, so looks like she's on a roll. In front row, front row um, seat, just being in the water and being able to see that angle of how um, Carissa's really timing her turns. I like that uh, little bit of insight there from Micah. Her timing is impeccable, as you see. You know, we mentioned that little bit of wobble that comes up the face. It doesn't seem to face Carissa. She's just bopping and weaving with the whole flow of the ocean, and she really is finding this kind of rhythm on this wave that's making it look so pretty and she doesn't get hung up or there's no kind of um, in between where she's not really moving and, and just uh and, and one thing that you just have to make note of is just how sharp Carissa's equipment looks at the moment we know she got a, a solid quiver from Matt Biolas we'll come back to that point as we see Silvana kicking out 
but she got some bigger boards, a 6-6 six -six that she was riding on smaller days over at Ho Keeper on the other side of the island. And two excellent numbers, an 8.33 and an 8.4. And she'd be feeling pretty comfortable out there at this point, Rosie. It is Carissa Moore with an 8.33 and an 8.4. She has comboed the field. Silvana Lima chasing a two-wave total of 16.74, as is the winner of the trials, who's up and riding at the moment, Dax McGill. She is just looking to break combination with an excellent score here. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Just over nine minutes remaining. Carissa Moore getting herself in a position for this one. It's a good looking wave. She takes a high line to build speed and then drives off the bottom and puts her board on rail, really leaning onto the back foot. A big powerful move followed by a fin throw. And she can afford to go for it because she's looking to improve on 8.33, but that first turn was just all power. Just impressive from Carissa. You mentioned that she can afford to kind of let loose a little bit, step it up, you know, really test her equipment and, and figure out, you know, how she's feeling about um, the boards that she's on. You see Silvana kind of wiping that one off. This is while we went to break. Silvana Lima hunting that barrel section. Wow, coming through a beautiful little tube and unfortunately that way of running away from her. And the free surfs can get kind of crowded, a little bit packed, a lot of humans enjoying this wave. I've been hanging for this heat recap. Having a look at Carissa Moore's first ride, Rosie. Oh, just some beautiful turns from Carissa, just opening up with that 8.33, just really setting the pace for this heat. Silvana Lima finding some shade. So much style, the Brazilian. The 31-year-old, she looked for more cover on the inside, but that wave shut down, unfortunately. And Carissa really stepped things up with, with this ride. Big first turn, and as she moved down the line, let go of a big rail turn and, and got a solid finish too. Yeah, Carissa really just showing us why she's on, in the hunt for this third world title in 2015. Amazing. Watch it unfold and uh, have them go to the nail until the end. Well, here we go. This is Silvana now setting up the barrel once again. She just gets a little off balance to set up that tube. And as a result, where's the lip to the face? And it was probably a better looking ride than what we've seen. Letting that opportunity slip through her fingers. Well, on the higher tide, you do get a little bit of feedback off the, the cliff on the inside. Manages to, you know, regather herself to pull under the lip here. Starts to get steezy as she goes to her belly, you can just tell there's her head, unfortunately the lip making connection there and just bringing her down. Straight to the face. But she's okay. She's back out there. There's not a lot of time though. Just over three minutes remaining and Carissa Moore still has the field comboed at this stage. Silvana Lima, Dax McGill both chasing a two-wave total of 16.74. Carissa Moore looks like she's going to make that jump directly through to round three with a convincing victory over Silvana Lima and Dax McGill. An 8.4 and an 8.33. Just 15 seconds remaining. And Carissa. Well, she can tick that first challenge, that box. She is powering on through the draw here at the Target Maui Pro. Competing well under pressure. And now she'll just uh, paddle past Courtney Conlog and just hand all that pressure over to uh, Courtney and we'll see how Courtney performs.